Hey, Tracy. Um, wow, this is a lot. Um, wow, this is, I agree pausing the wedding. I almost want to lean towards just call the whole thing off until the guy figures out where his where his loyalty lies. I mean, obviously, they're not getting back together. But if he's still carrying this torch talking about what could have been, <clears throat> it may not be best to marry him, period. And I hate saying that, but that's just, I'm just like, because I, I just think he's carrying... I mean, and he's carrying a lot of grief, too. I mean, mm -hmm. let's not take that back because the ex, I mean. I don't think wrong. anybody's an asshole here. Yeah, it's Sorry like first. nobody is. Um, it's like she could have told what well, she could have did and should have did. She didn't do. But she probably should have been more honest up front and let him make the decision about whether he wanted to stay. But who's to say he still wouldn't have been devastated when she passed? There's too many coulda, shoulda, wouldas on this one for me to offer a clear opinion. I totally get where the current ex, soon-to-be ex-fiance, well, she never said they was going to break it up, oh. is coming from because if all he's doing is talking about, I don't want you to leave me too, uh, what mm. do you mean too? You, you didn't have to put two. You could just said, I don't want you to leave me, but you didn't. So I think for her sake... I don't think a pause is what's needed. I think a full break is what is needed. And I hate saying that. I hate saying that. But that's what I think. 